No, it's not snakes on a plane. It's not journey to the center of the earth. It's not a missing episode of Vikings. And it's definitely not the passion of the Christ. It's our favorite sci-fi show, Raised by Wolves, and it's coming back for season two, and that means the middleman is back as well. Hell yeah. Hey everyone, it's Brent the Middleman, your middle-aged middle manager in middle America in a midlife crisis, here today with a video breaking down the recent casting announcements for season two of the incredible HBO sci-fi series, Raised by Wolves. Not only do we get character names, but we get pretty detailed descriptions that seem to reveal a lot about the plot for Season 2. So let's stop with the small talk and jump right into it. Yesterday, Deadline put out a really detailed article listing six new characters that will be in Season 2, along with how they connect to the story. Season 2 began filming back in March, so hopefully we'll start getting some images and teasers soon as well. And I know that anyone watching this has probably seen the first season, but I'll do a quick recap in case you forgot. Season 1 ended with Mother and Father flying the newly birthed Necro Snake through Kepler-22b's core to the tropical zone of the planet. Father got himself and Mother out of the ship before it crashed, and the now gigantic snake flew off into the sunset. Back on the other side of the planet, Marcus slash Caleb ran into a landing party from the Atheist Ark that just showed up, and while tripping on some necromancer eyeball juice, he took out all but one of the Atheists and creepily prayed with the only survivor. Campion saw Mother and Father fly into the hole, and it looks like he will be left to lead the remaining kids after Paul shot his mom and ran off. The first season was very much about how everyone got to Kepler and the mystery force on the planet trying to impregnate Mother. It looks like in Season 2, not only will we have the giant flying snake, but we'll also have the atheists and the soul-loving Mithraics trying to survive together along with Campion's faction. And hopefully we will get some answers about the pentagonal temples, the Kepler natives, and get some clues to what soul actually is. You can find my theories about this in previous videos that I'll link at the end, and I'll be doing more videos as we lead up to Season 2 and during the season. So please like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss anything. And now with the recap out of the way, let's look at the casting news. The first new character is called Cleaver, which has me excited already, and he'll be played by Peter Christofferson. Cleaver is a devoted atheist soldier and a veteran of the war on Earth. His only friend is the supercomputer he has been sworn to protect. I think this mention of a supercomputer is huge. There are a lot of theories that Soul and the voice on Kepler is actually a highly advanced form of artificial intelligence that is able to infect humans somehow. Cleaver might be able to help the group communicate with the AI on Kepler. I love it already. Next is a character named Grandmother, played by Selena Jones. Grandmother is a godlike android built thousands of years ago by the members of the lost civilization that existed on Kepler 22b. Booyah. Looks like we'll be learning a lot more about the Kepler natives. I wonder if mother and father will run into grandmother in the tropical zone. A godlike android sounds like something that will have answers about Kepler and Sol. Will grandmother care about humans? Did humans build grandmother or did Sol? I could probably do two or three theory videos just about this character already. Next, we have Morgan Santo playing a character named Vril. Vril is a fully humanoid android built to look and behave just as the real Vril Pell did the year she committed suicide. Vril is rebellious, impulsive, dark, and has an affection for rabbits and other small animals, which she likes to pet and hold when she is overtaxed. Though fairly stable, certain triggers cause Vril to enter states of confusion, obsession, and mania. Wow, a lot to unpack here. So there was a person named Vril Pell who committed suicide, and then an android was built to be exactly like her. I wonder who this Vril Pell is. I don't think it's someone we met in Season 1, and if I'm missing something, please tell me in the comments. This also opens up a whole Battlestar Galactica type situation with not knowing who is real and who's a robot. And this thing with small animals, I wonder if Mouse will play into this somehow. This character also sounds like a real wild card, which could add to the tension. The next new character is named Tamerlane and will be played by James Harkness. Tamerlane is an atheist army grunt soldier with a defiant personality. 
His early life was a horror until he found his calling with the atheist army fighting the Mithraic on Earth. But now that he's a member of the burgeoning atheist colony on 22b, he's expected to forget the hate he feels towards his enemy and accept a number of Mithraic as neighbors, an expectation which he violently rebels against. Okay, this one's pretty cool. The description makes me think we may get a bit of a time jump where the Atheist Ark has landed and they've set up a colony right near where the remaining Mithraics ended up after leaving Marcus for dead. So, will Marcus be off on his own or will he be with Paul? I don't see him living with the Atheist or the Mithraic, but maybe since he didn't die, the Mithraic will now believe he is the chosen one? And where is Campion's crew? I love that this is going to explore how humans just can't stop fighting one another even when the survival of the species depends on it. Maybe they will learn to band together when they realize they were all brought there by soul to be snake food. The fifth new character is called Decima and will be played by Kim Engelbrecht. Decima is highly educated and was a prominent scientist and weapons developer on Earth who did a lot of immoral things in order to achieve success and domination in her field. She is notoriously ruthless but still carries guilt. However, she has erased much of her guilty feelings with futuristic therapies which she personally developed. Whoa, uh, like she wiped her own memory? She sounds like someone the humans will need to survive on Kepler, but also like someone the voice may want to manipulate, much like Marcus. Perhaps Decima can help unlock some of the mysteries on the planet and the dark photon energy, which I believe will be based in science. Definitely excited about this character. And finally, the sixth new character is named Nerva, and will be played by Jennifer Sighing. Nerva is a tough, atheist woman who runs an underground network of goods and services. Nerva is a civilian who was brought aboard a hijacked Ark along with many others simply due to geography and the fact that they identified as atheists. Nerva lost a child to disease during the trip to Kepler and often secretly looks out for children living in the colony. Okay, wow, giant time jump confirmed. So this atheist colony, which has already been referred to as burgeoning, has also been around long enough to have a black market established. This makes it sound like season two will start after the atheist landed and everyone set up separate colonies. They may not even be aware that there is a giant flying snake on the other side of the planet because the only person who saw that mother birth the snake was father and they are both trapped in the tropical zone with the snake. So perhaps the snake finds a way to escape and is on its way to the other side of the planet to take out the humans for good, and mother and father will have to work with Kepler natives and androids to stop the snake and ultimately stop this voice that everyone thinks is soul. But the humans will have to get over their hatred for each other or they all will die. This could be where Campion comes in. An older Campion to unite the humans, but they'll also have to contend with those humans that the planet's voice has convinced they're talking to soul. Anyway, I could talk about this all day, but nobody wants a super long video, so I'll end this right here. But definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get my next Raised by Wolves videos, and please tell me all your theories in the comments. I'd love for this channel to become a place where fans of the show can interact and share thoughts about this really cool series. So, once again, I'm Brett the Middleman, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.